Mr. Hosea Egon is a widowed security man who makes 22,000 naira a month while raising his two daughters alone in Pape. In 2017, his world came crashing down when he came back from work and discovered his two daughters, who were just 9 and 13 years old at the time, had been raped by his landlord, who till today is still missing. No, I went to Human Rights Commission, I went to NAPTIP, I went to gender units. As I'm talking to you, nothing. Human Rights Commission, the petition as of police, which they transfer they transferred the case from Pape to CID office. Which they public indignation against the alleged rape and killing of Waila Omozua in a church in Benin City, the Ado State Capital. The outcry is for an end to rape and gender violence. As to whether there is more to do. This legal practitioner has this to say. We need to hold our security agencies accountable. They have a lot of work to do. You know, we can't continue like this. It's been like one event, another occurrence, one from Balugu, one happening at Ikeja, the other one in Benin, one at Uselu. Every now and then we hear stories like this. Most sincerely, our governments need to do what they need to do by equipping the security agencies, most importantly, making them to do the job they are paid to do. For the Edo State Government, the fight against gender violence has been on and continues strongly. The government of His Excellency Mr. Godwin Obaseki is working tirelessly to ensure that appropriate measures are put in place to ensure that victims can find safety and the information that they need to seek redress and also to ensure that perpetrators are tried, convicted, and punished. These steps, however, do not preclude individuals from taking bold action. From speaking out against gender violence and reporting cases when they occur, to discouraging victim stigmatization. Jessica Lugusser, Channels Television News.